High tax rates damage Britain's competitiveness. They reduce the incentive to work, to invest and to start a business. And the higher the tax, the more ways people seek to avoid them, or work elsewhere, or simply work less, rather than putting their time and effort to more creative and productive ends. Take the additional rate of income tax. At 45%, it is currently higher than the headline top rate in G7 countries like the US and Italy. And it is even higher than social democracies like Norway. But I'm not going to cut the additional rate of tax today, Mr Speaker. I'm going to abolish it altogether. Yeah. From April the 23rd, we will have a, high, a single higher rate of income tax of 40%. This will simplify the tax system and make Britain more competitive. It will reward enterprise and work. It will incentivise growth. It will benefit the whole economy and the whole country. And Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, after all, after all, this only returns us this only returns us to the top rate we had for 20 years, including the entire time the opposition was last in power. For one month. For one month. And that's not all. I can announce today that we will cut the basic rate of income tax to 19 pence in April 2023, one year early. That means a tax cut for over 31 million people in just a few months' time. This means that we will have one of the most competitive and pro-growth income tax systems in the world. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, for too long in this country, we've indulged in a fight over redistribution. Yeah. Now we need to focus on growth, not just how we tax and spend. We won't apologise for managing the economy in a way that increases prosperity and living standards. Our entire focus is on making Britain more globally competitive, not losing out to our competitors abroad.